Welcome to my CSC Orion tutorial channel for structural designs and an analysis featuring complete recorded sessions on cantilever slab modeling, design and loading analysis. From the continuation of the previous class we had the last time, today I will show you how to model and design a cantilever slab. To that, before we go into that, let me just try to get this a bit. Okay, now I just said that we have to considering this slab as the first to as the first as the Graph for floor slab. Now we want to design for the upper floor slab, whereby we'll be indicating the cantilever slab and its loading. Now we proceed by inserting a new story, which will be used as the first floor slab. Insert the story. We have to insert the total numbers of story. So we have. I'll be opting for two, two numbers of story. Then click on OK. Now, having done that, all the members on the, we have to to proceed. All the mem whereby all the members on story one will be generated to story two. Now we still have to use the same story I story menu in the menu toolbar. Now we have to generate the story. Now our story one will be the source story while the story two will be the, will be the target story. Now here we can select and deselect the num the type of members we want to generate to the preceding story. Now I've selected all members. Okay, let me I've selected all members. Now the process has been completed. Whereby you can see this has been activated in the 3D view whereby we have multiple stories, story 1 and story 2 here as well. Now for story 2, I have to delete all the members on story 2 and make a new design for the story 2. Now I have to delete this as well. Delete this. Select this as well, and you have to delete. Now here you select all the members you want to delete. You now I will only leave out the columns because I'll be using them for the preceding. For, for, I'll be using them in the first first floor. Whatever the beams, it has it might be very. I have to I have to select them to be deleted the slab and slab strips respectively now we can see all have been deleted now we have we really have the the columns generated to the story too now from here i'll have to insert all the beams i'll have to insert the beams now from the beam icon at the menu toolbar you can insert this the beam. We have a normal beam, support band, and rigid beam. Now, for this tutorial, I'll be opting for normal beam and a depth of 450 mm, which is each bottom height to bottom, which is the depth 450 mm, its breadth 230 mm, and eccentricity of the breadth is 115, an average of 230. Then you have to update it. We have the beam, we have a beam here. Click on your control key to have a good insertion point. Then click on this. We have all the beams model to that as is. Same goes to this 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 as is. 
semi de stabilisation continuously 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 now you have to update it now we can see all these we are selected all the beams have been model in model in the story tool now this beam occurred to have edited its workload work automatically just because we generated it from the previous story now we can delete it and we can delete the beam workload and make it for our own preferred loading now let's re-edit it edit beam workload now here yeah, the work unit weight i'll be using it varies accordingly but i'll be using 3.4 kN per meter square 3.47 kN per meter square you have to insert it here and for this you can enter your wall label, wall label. we have 100 brick wall 200 brick wall 200 brick wall singapore malaysia and it varies now i'll be using just 230 so i'll be using 230 here so the wall thickness is 0 0.230 meters 0 0.230 meters and its height we have a story height of 3 meters when you activate it you can see it has it has calculated the the dead load having the wall unit rate to be 3.47 and wall height to be 3 in a, compli um, a combination of that give us the, the the g now we have this you can see the beam wall load. this beam wall load can be can be activated to all the beams we have on this story now we have to click on this copy beam wall load and you have to highlight all your beams on this current story then you activate it on it update it paste it paste the copied beam loads to it then we have this you can see it you can see it here we have all this completed now we proceed to the slab i won't go much on the normal slab i will i will only do that of cantilever slab i've done the normal slab in the previous design so today i'll be doing the cantilever slab now okay let's just do one of normal slab to try to make it to try to make a differentiation in the two type of slabs in those two types of slab now this is a normal slab here yeah. you have to the type for normal slab whereby it has a supporting end normal slab type 1 height of 150 mm concrete of 25 mm insertion having a beam region insertion point and a loading this normal this normal slab will be used it should be designed for a room for rooms where can deliver slab design for room we have this here as we, we have this here We have this here normal slab we have height of this and now for the cantilever slab for this uh, we decided to use okay trying to use a trying to design a cantilever of length of break um, of length it's of length 1000 millimeters now we have to offset this as is click on the as is select it Offset the axis, offset it by 1000 millimeters. Then you click here, it has been activated. Then you exit it. Now, to design to design the cantilever slab, the steps will be taken into consideration. Whereby the step one is, is to click the slab icon here, to click the slab icon here, and in, in the main. In the menu toolbar on the top of the screen, then you go to the slabs properties. Whereby the step two is to 
select the type you have to click on this type select the type in this type we all this type one to ten, one to nine are used for normal slab why that of 12 and 13 are basically used for cantilever slab type 12 is used for the type where this long side is supported why type 13 is used for the side for the short for where the short side is supported now for this tutorial i will select type 12 as our supporting side is longer is the longer side so i'll be supporting type 12 now having done that you have to insert the length of the slab from the using the help count which is the length of cantilever so we want to design a cantilever of 1000 mm whereby the beam preceding it is 230 mm so this 230 mm an average of it is one 115 mm in 1000 millimeters subtracted by 115 mm we'll be having it 85 millimeters 85 millimeters then we have to check its load it, it will no longer be a room it will be a corridor for for this cantilever slab Provi oh, provided the cantilever is is used for terrace uh, it should be used for terrace not internally where it should be used for rooms now we have to update it and we have to click on click on this point one keen on holding your control key click on point two then we have this on point one we, we have this type one type twelve we have this then we have we have this Continuous slab. We have this type of twelve. We count it is five. Then we have this. It's leading to corridor. Then we update it. for this then we have for this one it's loading this room then we have this update now for this we have a we have a now look at the cantilever slab we, de we designed here is the cantilever slab here is the cantilever this is the cantilever on the axis of on the cyst axis. Here is the cantilever. If we select it, it will be reflected here. Select this, selecting this slab here. We have this. Now, having done that, we can go to our, our member table to check of, of further specifications of of the slab. Now. Clicking on this, go to member tables. We have slab table where we have this. It is designed as corridor closed. Clicking on this, on these two slabs, one, two, then go to member table. Slab table, then we have this. You can see two S9 is designed for the cantilever slab, while two S10 is, is the one for the room. So those are the loading methods for the cantilever slab and the normal slab respectively. Now proceeding, now proceeding to the slab strips, 
both the cantilever slab and the numa slab respectively. The design process for cantilever slab is the same as that of as that for normal slab with the exception of the end of the slab streak. For the case for this case, which is the cantilever slab, we'll use the bulb for slab streak. We'll use the okay, let's go to slab streak for my slab streak that I found. We'll use bulb for we we'll use bulb at start and cantilever at end respectively under the slab streak for this cantilever strap and we will we'll do kind of control key kind of control key then move it this we we can see 21 update please Orion has made it so good enough for all. Good. Orion has made it so nice, whereby it has been. Orion has made it so smart, whereby the uh, reinforcement detailing could come along with the reinforcement bars after the, the designing of the slab strips. So those are just the processes which will undergo under the. Well, while designing or model, modeling a cantilever slab, we have 20 y 12 at 250 bottom. This was designed as a one way slab whereby the ratio of the LY to LX, the length of the width and the length of the breadth, the ratio is more than two. That was designed as a one way slab. In a situation whereby it's less than two, it will be designed as a two way slab, whereby it will be designed horizontally and vertically. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel for more videos and updates.